It is my day off today, which means that I need to go and do errands around town. Specifically, I need to go to the grocery store. I'm really, really bad at planning out my meals and meal prepping and like just cooking in general. I don't really like it. I don't like to spend my time doing it, but I do really wanna be better. So I've made a list of all the things that I need to get and recipes that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week. And I'm gonna go to the grocery store and actually buy these things. Normally going to the grocery store is like not a very interesting task, but I thought I might make it kind of fun by showing you the differences in a British grocery store versus what I'm used to in American or a Canadian grocery store. I don't know if that's fun, if it's interesting, I don't know, you ended up clicking on the video anyway, so let's just go to the grocery store. We're going shopping at Asda today, which is a budget supermarket. We usually either shop here or at Morrison's. Also something to note, it's not called a grocery store in England, but a supermarket. There are a number of things here that have different names, which confused me a lot when I first moved. Arugula is called Rocket. Eggplant is called Aubergine. Zucchini is called Courgette. The baked bean section in pretty much any supermarket is quite big, and that's because baked beans on toast is a popular breakfast food here. I'm sure a lot of you know this, but potato chips are called crisps in the UK. There are a ton of different brands and flavors that are different, including prawn cocktail. Often they'll come in these multi-pack bags where there are a bunch of little bags within a larger bag. Oreos come in packages like this. They taste the exact same though. Instead of pulp or no pulp, the orange juice comes with bits or with no bits. Eggs aren't refrigerated in the supermarket. They're kept on just a regular shelf. Squash is a very popular type of drink. To be honest, it still confuses me and I'm not 100% sure what category this falls into, but here's an example of it. So it is the next day. It got a little bit too dark to keep filming, but I do want to show you guys some of the things that I got. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because that would get pretty boring pretty fast. So I'm just going to show a few select things that are particularly British or that I think are interesting or kind of different. First thing I want to talk about is the lemonade. This is lemonade in the UK. It is clear, it is sugary, it's not super tart, it's a lot more sweet than the lemonade that we're used to. I mean, this in particular is diet lemonade, but it's the same thing when you get regular lemonade. If you want the kind of tart, lemony, homemade lemonade thing that we're used to in the United States and Canada, you have to ask for cloudy lemonade. So I was a little bit surprised when I ordered lemonade in a restaurant for the first time and this clear liquid showed up. One of the saddest things about my life here is that I can't get ranch dressing. There are some stores that do sell it, like specialty stores and things like that. I haven't been able to find any and I have ordered online, but it is just so expensive. But I have found a pretty good alternative. It's at Asda where I went. It's Newman's own ranch dressing and dip. It's not the same as Hidden Valley, but it is okay. Like it is a good second. I kind of mentioned this earlier in the video, but this is how Oreos are packaged. So this is a twin pack, which means that there's a row here and a row here. The taste is the exact same. I kind of prefer the packaging in the US and in Canada because I feel like it just keeps the Oreos fresher, but like this is fine too. My absolute favorite snack in the UK, pop knobs. Basically it's a biscuit and then it's got chocolate over the top of it. It is so good for dipping in coffee or just like eating on its own. Pretty much any time I go to the supermarket, I'll buy hop knobs. I love them. Another favorite of mine that we get pretty much every time we go to the supermarket is crumpets. This is very, very different than our idea of what a crumpet is in the United States. It's basically like a, like a squishy bread. It's got holes in it, so it's kind of like fluffy and light and you can just heat them up, like put them in the toaster, anything like that. I do something which is a little bit blasphemous, but I love it. I'll put maple syrup on the top of it, which is definitely the Canadian in me. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, like honestly try it. And last but not least, I found this and I haven't actually tried it yet. A vegan pasty. I've had a vegan pasty in town, but I've never seen them in the grocery store. So basically you just heat this up. You cook it, I believe, but it's made out of corn, which is like a really typical, um, like fake meat 
kind of thing that's used here. It's a very popular brand. So I got one of those for me. And then I got one for Danny, just a regular Cornish pasty with meat in it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm absolutely obsessed with pasties. Um, pretty much anytime I leave the house, I make an excuse to get a pasty. I love them and they're so good. So hopefully these are also good so I don't have to constantly leave the house to get my pasties. Obviously we got a lot more things, but I didn't want to show absolutely everything. But thank you guys for joining me on this video and for watching it. I hope that it was interesting or informative or that you learned something or at least just enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, then please make sure you do and like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video.